welcome to the second barn tour. This is Pine Estate, and <laughs> I have a friend peeping over my shoulder. <laughs> uh, I didn't build this alone. In fact, if I'm being completely honest, I wasn't the architect for a lot of what we did. That's why it looks so much better than the barn I did before. But today with me, I have my friend Kwaizi. Hello, Kwaizi. Hello. Yeah, a lot. Okay, so we have all types of mods and stuff. So I'm just going to explain before we start the video that texture pack, shader pack, and all mods are listed in the description below. This is a private <laughs> multiplayer world. This is just for me and Queasy to build on. This is not uh, for public use, but who knows? Maybe one day there will be a public one. Um, anyway, let's begin the tour of Pine Estate. Um, Queasy, would you do the honors of driving the golf cart? Yes. Okay. Right, if you're driving, I will get in this seat. I'm in F1 as well. Okay, what would you want to visit? Okay, can we go visit the car park and the cross-country course? Sure. Okay, so we're currently at the car park. Now, we've got two different vehicles, and these aren't usable vehicles. Um, but this one is the Pine Estate trailer. So this is the one that everybody who boards here uses. Um, this one's the one I built, so it's a bit blockier, but I'll show you the tack room first. So, I mean, it's a tack area. Uh, we've got Pine Estate saddles, we've got some storage, and I'm still using the mod that allows us to have saddle racks. Uh, but this is a pretty spacious design. The only problem is, is it looks really bulky in the car park, but that's okay. So inside here, we've got our beautiful um, area where we can put the horses so they have little hay feeders, and you can actually tie them up both both from the inside and the outside, so it's actually really practical as well. Um, blocky design, but really, really useful. And we had to use uh, pressure plates for the doors, otherwise they won't close in time. So this one, and Queasy's found a chicken friend, or should I say turkey? A turkey! Friend. Sorry. <laughs> Over here is Queasy's um, trailer design. So as you can see, it's got a lot more texture to it. It's got a lot more uh, realism. And these, uh, Queasy's gonna explain how she made them a bit later on, but they're actually uh, part mod, part not mod. So do you, wanna, do you wanna show us around your trailer? So this is your private trailer, right? Yes. Okay, so this is, of course, um, the driver's thing. Mm -hmm. um, here you drive <laughs> <laughs> and um back here of course you have the logo mm -hmm. and you can also kind of same technique um you can lead your horse up here and it will stand on the pressure plates and you can tie it up and this one isn't as functional as really small mm -hmm. but i also have you know a little tack room a little handstand little bridle hook yes and i thought it was so cool because there's actually shulkers in the floor and i didn't actually spot these the first time i came in here but after seeing them i was like that's so cool it's like under the floor like storage so honestly you can decide which design you like best if you're going for realistic sorry crazy i'd close the door on you Ow, i can't open it, <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> So if you like a more realistic design, you might want to go for Queezy's. Um, but if you like a functional uh, design, you might like mine a little bit better. But mine's a bit bigger, so it will take up more space, but it isn't quite as pretty looking. So around us here, this is where the path kind of stops. And vehicles don't usually come past this point, but we'll make a special amendment for the golf car. So over here is our um, schooling cross country. So they aren't as extravagant jumps as my last barn, because obviously you're you're learning uh, to be able to compete in cross country. Queasy is definitely responsible for most of these jump designs. Um, they're really, really nice, really, really natural looking, and they're actually loads of fun to go over. We had um, practice shots for the cinematics at the beginning, and definitely the hardest jump was the, uh, the water jump over there. So over here's a really nice area because it's really functional as well, and it looks really good. Um, and Queasy, would you like to show us over to the farm? the wheat farm. Yes. So we figured because most manor houses have farms, because that can be a large part of their income, uh, we added a literally massive wheat field. Um, so before we get started, a lot of people saw the sneak peek uh, that I put up on my channel and they were asking me how I made a uh, these like barrier things well to put them sim uh, to put it simply they are fairy lights and they are specifically the letter bunting uh so they are 
where are they? So they're these, but you don't put any letters on it, so you just press enter and you get this nice, like, rope. You'll see that design used over here a bit more. Um, <laughs> what are you doing with that cedar? Put that down. <laughs> So we've got the um, Mr. Crayfish's uh, vehicle mod. So this is actually super helpful because after we um, sowed the, the, the field, we were able to put the seeds down and grow it with the... This is like the fertilizer and this is the uh, cedar, basically. But this field we thought was really nice because it's out of the way. But if you're, what, for whatever reason, in a survival world, this is actually super convenient. And we have a handy dandy tractor here. Now, we do actually use the ATVs for the uh, cedar and the fertilizer just because they're quicker. This is the far corner. So this technically is part of the estate, but it's not on the main grounds, if you will. So we'll... Um, hop on over to the main grounds uh, where the entrance is in our beautiful fancy golf cart. So here we have the entrance. Now the whole estate is basically surrounded by this creek so we had to build a beautiful bridge but this is the entrance so if we park here we can show you the uh, the field. So this is part of what you saw with the sneak peek. As you can see, this is letter bunting that's been connected without any letters. Uh, and we placed basically barrier blocks in between so it's actually functional. And in here we have our beautiful horses. Now, on the subject of horses, um, last episode I actually asked you guys to comment down below in uh, for horses that you guys wanted to add in. So it could be your own personal horse, it could be a star stable horse, it could be a horse from your exact imagination. So if what I've decided to do is actually move those 10 horses from my old barn into this new one and we'll be adding 10 more as well in the next one so if you want to get your horse added to my barns all you have to do is comment below you've got to comment their name their breed their color and a little bit about them like their personality and we might end up adding your horse to our barn so quiz has gone off without me but over here it's honestly so scenic and the paddocks are amazing this is um stallions and geldings and that's mares so if we continue on this is this a little like roundabout area thing uh, leads us to the main barn now this is one of the old, only buildings because it's all connected together but the entrance is absolutely phenomenal so um, I just like to show you guys kind of the detail that this barn is in now I have to give credit where credit is due Queasy is a literally magical builder she she just has amazing like I'm actually speechless this is beautiful so if you're wondering what type of wood this is this is the ebony wood stairs from the um, biomes of plenty mod but it just works so well in this barn so we've gone for white concrete and uh, spruce wood and then the ebony on top so the detail is insane we've got fences and um, and what they call gates uh, as decoration and it just looks honestly insane um, so in here, oh, we have Sporkle. This is uh, this is my horse, and she's gorgeous, and I love her very much. Uh, so inside, let me just quickly show you the stalls. So in here, we've just got some hay put around, and uh, we place these buckets of water. Now, uh, to get these buckets, they're just from the placeable items mod, so you just take uh, the normal item and shift-click it, and it puts it down. Um, but I thought it looked really cool because it isn't quite as bulky as a uh, cauldron would be. So we've got a load of stalls down here. Now, the... We decided to kind of scale the barn down a little bit to be beautiful and grand, but also not be like too much, you know? So in here, we've got our beautiful mares and that side is the stallion and geldings. So you might be wondering, um, what are these and how do I get one? Queasy, would you like to explain how you did this? Okay, so basically you have maps and with maps, you can of course, you know, map out your whole area and look where let's say a seed temple is but if you put uh if you line out a chunk and like kind of mark the corners and fill them in with something nice you can make like stall door designs yeah you can literally put anything on it so over um over the mountains back there queasy found uh like a, a clean chunk and she built this so she actually filled it all in white and uh, wrote in blocks pine estate and then she filled basically took out a map and mapped out the area and it it basically made it into so you basically you can make paintings out of anything um so we were debating on what kind of stall nameplates we wanted and honestly i didn't like signs and she didn't like item frames so she went ahead and did this and they just look so amazing so you you can play with whatever text you want on there whatever colors it's honestly amazing and 
we've numbered them so what we did is actually put a book inside this chest here and it has all of the names of the horses and which number store they belong to so that you don't have to have like a bulky kind of thing explaining everything and of course what I like to do um, if you're into role playing is you can get a paper and rename it all the information of the horse so it's a bit like kind of um, a receipt or documentation for your horse and I think that's really really cool so that's what we've ended up doing here now um, the centerpiece was actually quite difficult to decide on because me being me I really wanted to do a fountain but uh, Queasy got a better idea and decided to do a round pen so you can walk through here straight into the indoor arena or you can use this pen to um, lunge your horses. Now to do that, like we did in the cinematic, is Queasy actually went invisible and I held a lead on the horse and she basically ran around me so it looked like I was lunging her. And you can actually do that if you've got a friend and it's actually a load of fun to do. But what I like most about this round pen is it's so textured, like there's two layers to this because we figured round pens aren't usually perfectly flat. So uh, Queasy was smart and put in these like slabs and it honestly looks amazing. So normally this isn't actually kind of my style of build, but Queasy is a genius with palettes and she's so artistic and creative. Um, as soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, this is amazing. And we've got the same kind of flooring in the uh, indoor arena there, which has some fun stuff as well. So I can't wait to show you that. But um, Queasy, do you want to show them the garage next? Yes. Okay. All right. So this so, is the garage building. Yes. And we have our a very rich all rotors in here and they're gorgeous very rich you know also our super annoying cats they um sleep and eat in here and poop and um this is just our you know just a carriage for our cars to you know store them in yeah and honestly after we only got this mod today actually but it was so much fun deciding on which vehicles we wanted and the fact that you can use them is just insane so obviously this is mine because it's pink and queasy went for a cool looking black off-roader so that's awesome also if you guys ever get the mo creatures mod i don't recommend getting cats because they're really noisy they eat all the time and if you don't feed them they hiss at you and scratch you so um i'm not a huge fan of the cats but queasy is a bit cat -cry crazy so we've ended up with three so um one of them's missing actually uh but um, this is the... is he in the oh, is he still in the orchard yes okay uh e who's our other cat is still in the orchard this is chub chubs and june so their uh residents are our, um state now in here the building next to it is like a garage but this is more like a repair center so we've got some this is all in the mr crayfish's vehicle mod and honestly it just adds a little something you know because these are functional you can use them obviously i don't know how to use them but they're cool nonetheless and we've got just bunches of storage here so you can put literally anything what i love so much about this barn is it's gorgeous and it's functional as well the only downside is is good luck if you want to build this in survival because it's almost impossible um because of how much how many blocks there are and how much detail there really is but you know what if you want to try go for it so this is our garage section queasy actually built this um when we were doing the layout and i was a bit skeptical at first but after we got the vehicle mod i was like yes 100 percent worth it so i'm gonna jump right over here to our cross ties now this is where our grooming station is and um in these kind of hidden boxes here we've got oh i went up with the box uh, we've got the leads we've got uh the english saddles now these stable gloves are renamed stable well they're shears actually but they're renamed because the mo creatures horses are the ones that we have and you have to use shears to get the saddle off them so that's why they're in there and we also renamed like uh hoof ointment the brushes fly spray and hoof pick and we got some apples as well so everything here is like almost fully stocked and functional um but and can and I just say how much I love this photo because I put it up and as soon as I saw it I just like looked over here and I was like oh my gosh we live there it was so incredible I really liked it now here is the office and I have to give Queasy like 100% of the credit I didn't do any decorating in here and I love these slidey doors so much like so much um but in here Queasy did everything except I did I put Diggly down because I like dogs uh, and here's a little bowl as well but um Queasy do you want to run us around the layout sure um here is the computer with the little cookie jar and stuff like that uh here's just a bit of a lounge Mm -hmm. where you can sit and meet with your friends exactly. watch tv and other movies and stuff 
Then here we have the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It has a um, functional chopping board. Yes. Functional toaster. Functional microwave. Also functional stove. You can also use these cabinets. Yeah, to store stuff. So our cats used to live in here before they got really loud and annoying so that's why our um pet food is in here but i mean queasy says functional they work but we don't know how they work so um yeah i mean if you know how to use them then yeah they're functional if not they make for great deco pieces do you want to show us upstairs yes um these are very nice stairs from crayfish mom mm -hmm. i really like them and uh, by and the way before we go in these are functional lights by the way wait what what does this light do Oh yeah, you can't see it because of the um, because of the fairy yeah. lights, but these lights get switched on and off by this switch here. And the same, wait, or is it this switch? Oh yeah, no, it's this switch. What does that switch do? I'm so confused. I don't even know what I did. I don't know what you did either. Oh God, it exploded. Um, yeah, so this is the switch for the lights. That makes more sense. Um, and they're functional, which we think is really cool. Do you want to show us the best piece of this office? Yes, um, okay. this is the almighty office. Mm -hmm. It has a vault door, so... Of course. Boink. And, um... Can we just, can we just talk about the photos? It's so amazing. It's I love so it. cool. So, um, which mod is that? Is that Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod? Yes. So what you basically do is put these, like, um, white photo frames down and you can put the URLs in, um, and after you do that, you can put them in and they actually show up. So that's from Star Stable. That was when me and Queasy went to Ashland and that's actually a photo. And if you want to see the video, it's up in the corner linked, but it was it's really cool to see actually in Minecraft as well. So do continue. This is, um, these are our little um, desks and computers where we order stuff on mm -hmm. and our little printers where we can print like Books. boarding agreements or something. Yep. And then this is my part because yeah, I love green. green. She, her and favorite this is green. Part because she loves pink. pink. <laughs> of course. And this is our little um, lounge. We don't really have a TV. We just sit down. Yeah. And, and if we move on, here we have the bathroom. Yeah, and it's functional, by the way, which I think is awesome. Functional bath. Oh God. <laughs> And, um, and the, wait, where's the light switch for this one? So the lights do work, but we've got fairy lights down because they're so cute. And we did okay. originally have a functioning mirror, but it made the world lag really, really badly. And these are also cabinets, so that's cute. Well, back to the office a second. I wanted to show everyone the photos we've got up. So this is um, me and Queasy again in Ashland. Uh, this was a photo that we took. And also, uh, this is Queasy in a pumpkin. So that's me. I took this photo and Queasy crouched down in a pumpkin. Uh, so these are our honestly favorite photos. This actually is one of my favorites because I edited this Star Stable photo for her for Christmas and um, posted it on Instagram. So you can actually find this photo on my Instagram, but we've ended up putting it up here and this one is also adorable and on my Instagram, but it's uh, us standing on the red string trail looking out and there's a heart of clouds in the sky. So that's just our picture tour, but I love it so much. Also, here's a little terrarium with a flower in it, and I thought it was really cute. So that's it for the office. Bye, Diggly. Um, but out here, so after you come through and you've, say, parked in the garage, you can come through into the office and check in or do whatever you need. And over here, we have the stalls. And I, as I showed you before, they're basically the same design in every single one, but they connect to this, like, tower thing. And honestly, this place looks like a castle, and I absolutely love it. But in here, this is probably the one room I'm responsible for. So I did the tack room because I kind of knew what I was doing in here. So we've got this completely non-functional shelf, but it adds something. Also, that uh, ribbon is squiggly, so let me fix that. Okay. Um, <laughs> and here we've got this horse. So again, this horse is probably in the placeable items mod. Um, it doesn't really... You can put uh, armor on it, but if you've got a texture pack to make it look like a blanket, you can't see the blanket, which is a bit annoying. But again, it just adds something else to the room. Now over here, we've got my classic design of the uh, hat stand, and I've put a placeable items apple down and um if you want to find out how to do this sort of thing and basically everything in this room i've got a video already explaining that you that you can click the card for but um here's one of my favorite this is the uh feed bucket basket thing um and we've just got all of our food in here this time it's fully stocked whereas in my other barn it wasn't um are you throwing hay blocks down 
Yeah, it's, it's functional. Yeah, it's completely functional. So you can throw hay blocks on your friends' heads. Uh, and over here, obviously, we've got the saddle racks and some actual storage that we use. Um, so we've got the, the winter blankets and the leads. And uh, this is some extra stuff that uh, Queasy used that I didn't want to throw away. Um, up here, oh, we've got the same photo as well because I thought it was gorgeous. So if we come up here, we've got the, uh, basically, this is our hayloft. And uh, these are the placeable items. Hay, we've got the daylight sensors retextured as hay as well. And it's just really cozy to come up here. And can I just, like, this is the most beautiful view in the, I mean, the office probably has the best view, but or anywhere in this building has amazing views. So honestly, coming up here and just chilling is really nice as well. And this is our flax cube that we've got. And um, over there on the wall, we've got our ribbons. So as we come down this ladder, um, that's basically it for the tack room and it's a really nice multi-layered design so that you can fit a lot into it without it being too bulky but uh, I definitely oh and we've also got the uh, bridal racks on here and uh, this like non-usable bridal rack but I always add it because it looks cute so that is it for the um the tack room now this set of stalls here actually have something extra to them so we had extra room around the back, so we've ended up putting runs. And as I explained before, these are made with the letter bunting without any letters. So to me, they always look like electrical fences. And they, I'm not going to lie to you guys, they, these take ages to put up because you can't world edit them in and you have to put them up by hand. Queezy just nodded for me. Um, so they take ages to put up, but they look really cool at the end of the day. Um, and actually, we added something extra around here as well. So all of these stores have the runs, but this is our um, kind of dump area. So I always feel like, I think I did this in one other barn tour, but we have this dump area where there's just kind of stuff and it's overgrown. And you know what? You wouldn't have this if you wanted a really functional barn, but it genuinely adds stuff because at the end of the day, if you had loads of blocks that you didn't know what to do with, you could just stick a shulker down and come over here so you know where things are, but they're not in the main site of things. So that's what I love about this. So this is kind of a repurposed tower building. Um, Queasy, would you like to do the tour of what's over here as well? Um, so you just, you know, your wheelbarrow and you store it here when it's empty you just drive it in and flick it over and put it back where it's belong yes. um this is just some hay storage it's not really special mm -hmm. it's not the freshest hay because fresh hay is of course a feature. of course of course um, and I just like to point out that these wheelbarrows still use the um, hopper system. So technically, if you've got them, say, uh, near your main barn, say, you could always put one as if it's um, been left out while it's been being used. Say, if you've got a stable hand going around and you can put stuff in it. So that's really cool as well. Um, a lot of uh, servers have kind of plugins where the horses poop. So these are super, super useful for actually using real wheelbarrows. So I really like those designs in general. So would you like to do a tour of the indoor arena yes okay please do show us around so this is the very precious indoor arena mm -hmm. with letters um these are actually heads you can get them from like a site and then you get the man to put them in mm -hmm. and in the indoor arena we just have some army games because just having a plain arena is pretty boring this is from the i think it's Fish vehicle. Yeah, it's from the vehicle mod. So as soon as I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to put them in the arena. Because uh, honestly, though, I put these down, but Queasy went ahead and did stuff like this. So this was like a stall. Have you ever seen the pony games where they have to dismount and run on the things without... Uh, oh, I went way too high. Um, <laughs> we have to run across while... Uh, oh, great. So this is actually a great... Um, uh, example so this is actually an indoor arena we've got barrier blocks all along the top because we didn't want them to uh we didn't want it to be full cover because no light gets in and it gets really difficult to see uh so we ended up putting barrier blocks so no rain actually gets in and queasy was a genius and under these carpet bits are uh, glowstone so not only does the carpet add texture to the arena but you can also have lights underneath so that's super cool would you also like to show them what these are so these are from the uh, placeable items mod. These are actually blaze rods because of course end rod same. Mm -hmm. And um, these are just, you know, for pole bending and pony games. They're not that special, but I think they look 
a little better, a little bit more. They have a little texture than um, the end rods have. Yeah, and I always find the end rods are difficult to place because of the fact that they have light to them and they usually have a particle, particle effect too. So if you're looking for something plain, when you get the placeable items mod and you put these down, so they have the same structure as the end rod but they don't give off any light and um, I believe these also look slightly better because they're not quite, like, they're not bright white and they just look a bit more worn but that's kind of what you want in a barn because at the end of the day you're using it. So that's what my favourite thing about this barn is is it looks like it's in use and it looks really functional as well as pretty so it's genuinely probably my favorite build ever partially also because of the fact that uh queasy was our main architect during the whole build um i'd also like to point out this stool is here because queasy's a tiny bean and she needs a mounting block to get on the horses so i absolutely adore that you look majestic in that uh, lens flare by the way oh <laughs> So um, this is basically it for the main bit, but I did want to show you over here. So this tree is the prettiest tree I've ever seen in my life. And guess who built it? <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy um and i i thought oh we need to uh, light it up and i was putting uh, glowstone and the fairy lights down here and she said no 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 put them up here and they look absolutely magical i think they look amazing and they're really functional as well but down here is kind of our outdoor hangout area because realistically when you're sitting outside you'd like to have a view of all the horses and make sure that they're all good but you can also have like some time out so you're not in people's ways so these are the kind of benches that you get in um mr crayfish's furniture mod and We've kind of mixed the different mods together and Queezy's put a nice apple on the plate here and it looks adorable. And uh, what I love most is this uh, barbecue, which I figured out how to use the other day and I was cooking up kebabs. So that was a lot of fun. And she put down little accents on the uh, flowers and the ground and it looked really, really good. So this area is really nice. So this area over here is similar but we decided not to use it so i wouldn't say go crazy with uh putting as much in as you possibly can but having little details like this just really makes your whole barn come to life so crazy would you like to take the golf cart and show them the uh, orchard yes but uh, i love these so much because these are basically grape heads and queasy used this design before in a build and honestly it looked amazing that i said to her can we please do that again but this time we made the path a little bit wider and the reason they go black is because of my shaders so that doesn't usually happen don't worry um but honestly this this just screams posh i mean doesn't this look like what silver glaim vineyard should look like honestly star stable i would recommend upgrading to this because it's amazing um and honestly just walking through here and having a look at the area is just the best thing in the whole world and it just adds so much to the build um and after building this actually i was like okay we need an orchard and queasy the absolute genius found ways to put in trees that look really really good so if you could take us down there also um this was a super flat world so queasy edited in all of the mountains and it was amazing it took ages um, I'll show you a little bit more about the horses a bit later on because they're mo creatures, they're not vanilla horses, so I'll explain how they work. But over here we have our gorgeous little orchard. Um, okay, so I built uh, the lemon tree side and Queasy built the apple side. Um, and we have different building styles, mine's a bit more blocky, but uh, hers is a bit more realistic. Oh yeah, this is E, so... Um, he's usually over there, but we tried to use him in the cinematic and he's ended up over here. So, um, over here are our beautiful strawberry bushes. Queasy added these in, um, and I think they're just amazing and I love the heads. And the heads are actually smaller than the heads over there, so they actually look like little strawberries, which I absolutely love. And can I just say how imperative it is to put down paths, because as pretty as it might be with just grass, this makes it look like it's actually been walked on and people use the area. So uh, thank you, Queasy, for the path design. It's amazing. Uh, would you like to give us a tour of the orchard? So this is the apple yeah. orchard. Um, here we have some buckets mm -hmm. uh, because of course you have to, you know, water the ground a bit. And um, here there's this beautiful ladder. You can go up and pick an apple thing and it's really nice. It adds something really cute to. Orchard doesn't have a lot of decorations. You know, the main attraction are the trees. Mm -hmm. So we focus on the trees a lot. 
Oh god, he's mad at me. Oh, yeah. oh god, help me. Oh no, cat's mad. Cat's mad. Cat's very mad. Do you see what I mean? If you have no creatures, don't get cats because they're evil. Evil beings. Oh god, he's coming for me. <laughs> So, um, at the end, I'll show you the horses that you guys commented, but these are our horses, so these are the Pine Estate horses. Now, these are special horses, so these are specifically from the Mo Creatures Hod, uh, sorry, Mo Creatures Mod, and they are, uh, wild horses that you obviously tame, but, uh, there are only some base colours, and the rest you have to breed to get, which we think is really cool, and Queasy spent ages, uh, breeding the different tiers to be able to get beautiful coats like this one, um, and this of course is Wild Promise, which is my Star Stable horse. Oh, and of course we have Babo Donkey, because we love donkeys and they're adorable, and in the Mo Creatures mod, they look almost exactly the same to vanilla ones uh, but of course these ones are just as cute um, and oh, this one is probably the only vanilla horse so this uh, has a custom uh, coat on it and it's a bald face and this is specifically Queasy's horse so this is six dimes a day and uh, did you say it was a Lusitano? Musty Oh, a Mustang, my, my mistake. You get absolutely gorgeous coats like this. This one's probably one of my favorites. Um, and Sporkle as well, I love Sporkle. And Spotify is gorgeous as well. And over here we have Judy Moody, who is our mule. Okay, so this is basically our barn. I have to say a massive thank you to Queasy for being an incredible architect and knowing a lot more about World Edit than I do. Okay, so I just wanted to introduce you to our newest members of the barn. Now these guys are added from your comments, so if you would like your horse in the next build, then do comment them below. You need key information like their name and their coat color and their breed and then a little bit of information about their personality. So first up, we have Ace who is submitted by Layla Spicer. Their show name is Play Your Card, and they are clearly a double grey, and their breed is a thoroughbred. Next up, we have Engler, submitted by Gatcha Sisters, and she is a Frisian mare. Next up, we have Oreo, whose show name is Big Boy, and his breed is Paint, um, submitted by Wolf Quest Lover 24 then we have Buscada, uh, submitted by Ella Marti, and his breed is a pure Raza Española. Now, I don't know what breed that is, but it sounds really fancy. Next, we have Firefly. Firefly is four years old, submitted by Knight underscore Gatcha. Next up, we have Toby, submitted by Sasha Disco Girl, who is an Arabian. Next, we have Phoenix, submitted by Horse Gal, who is a white thoroughbred. Then we have Grace, whose show name is Shall We Dance, who is a Lusitana and was submitted by Miss Bunny XX. Then we have Tiago, who's a thoroughbred, submitted by Audrey Liss. Finally, we have Sugar Bell, submitted by Caitlin Richard. His show name is Taste Like a Dream. And I know that she said it was a Cremello, but I didn't have Cremello, so I put her as a Palomino. I hope that's okay. Oh gosh, that's not how that's meant to be. This has been Pine Estate. Again, if you want to know about uh, any of the shader packs, the texture pack, or the mods, they are in the description below, so they are listed. This is also on the Minecraft version 1.12.2 on a private server that won't be open, um, at least not for the meantime. So thank you, Crazy, for being here with me on the barn tour. Thank you for also helping me build this because it would not look half as good as it does right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.